Hello all, I uh, hope you've had a lovely Easter and welcome to the third edition of the Haraway cast. So in previous editions we've had quotes from the legendary Winnie the Pooh. Today I thought we'd mix it up a little bit and go for Eeyore. So a little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. And I think this is a very apt quote for this time that we are all doing brilliantly by staying in, being very, very careful. And it's not just about ourselves, but it's actually considering other people. And we just want to say a big thank you for all the hard work and efforts that everyone's putting into this. So on that similar theme, I thought we'd try and introduce a thunk of the week. So just a small quote with something to think about. So this week it is this, which is more important, being right, or being nice. And during this very important time, we just thought that's something to really think about at the moment. So we've got a few procedural announcements to get out of the way with first. So the first one is about year 11 results day. Now, Ofqual, who are the exam regulator, had initially said that they were going to try and get year 11 results out by July. But actually, in a statement over the Easter holiday, we've, we've had slightly more information on this. And they've now said that it will be a results day on the 20th of August. So during the summer, when we would have had the results normally, that's when we as a school as well will find out the results. So we will update you nearer the time on how that's actually going to work. And it very much depends on the national picture at the time and and what we are we are and we aren't allowed to do so we will keep you as updated as we possibly can but just so year 11 knows so 20th of august will be the, the time that you can get your results so on a similar note and i know we've shared this information with you but this is the information that ofqual have provided for students about how their grades are going to be awarded this summer so what will happen is the school, our, our school, will consider a range of things like classwork, homework, results in assignments, mock exams, non-exam assessments, coursework, a whole range of things to come up with a, a potential grade that those students would have got. That will then go to the, will go to Ofqual, will go to the exam boards, and then what they will do is they will standardise those and they will give us, as a school, grades for each of your subjects. So that means you, the final grade you get could be different from the one that the school or college sends to the exam board because there's a whole national picture that will need to be put together in order to calculate that. So Ofqua are in charge of that. So what we will do is obviously our, our best in terms of trying to provide them with the information that they want, and then they will calculate your grades. For year 11 though, that doesn't mean that the learning should stop at this point. While your GCSEs are effectively over this is still a really crucial time in your education and we always advocate that when we're learning we're learning because we value the learning and that's the really really important bit so what we're going to do from this point onwards is miss lowing is going to provide you with lots and lots of different resources and a whole list of different resources that will help smooth that transition from this time to when you start at college in september because actually if if you don't do anything between now and September that's quite a big chunk of time and actually we want to make sure that you are provided with everything to make a flying start when you start your courses now for some courses this is obviously easier particularly the more kind of traditional subjects some of the the courses that are very very different it's it's um, more practical it's slightly more difficult but what we're going to try and do is try and ensure that you've got plenty to get on with during this time because actually we we think that that's really important and the value of the learning in itself is exceptionally important now for all the other year groups from year 7 to 10 what will happen from today is obviously your teachers will start giving lots and lots of lesson ideas again and, and work for you to get on with because when we do eventually come back to school what we don't want is a big gap in your knowledge so we need to try and like we've said with the year 11s learning is really important so actually we want to try as best we can in order to provide you with as much as possible now in order to assist this what bbc bite size are doing is from today they're providing access to lots and lots of different lessons so they're starting with some of the more core subjects but they're going to expand that over the different weeks 
And there's going to be lots of things on their website. There's going to be special programmes broadcast on the iPlayer and the BBC Red Button just to try and help with students, with parents, so we can all work together as, as a team. So there's been a lot of work put into this and, and there's some, going to be some really great resources on here that will hopefully assist you in your learning journey. So on the note of learning though, what we want to do is we want to say a, a big thank you for all the hard work that everyone's put in before Easter in terms of trying to keep things as normal as possible in terms of their learning journey. And this quote here is, I think, very apt at the moment. So don't let perfect be the enemy of the good. We know this is not an ideal situation. We know that actually for some people, this is really difficult at, at the moment. And actually some of the work can be more far more difficult when you're not in the classroom. So we just want to say a big well done for what you've done so far and actually just keep it up. And, and even if it isn't perfect, that's OK at the moment. That's absolutely OK at the moment, because actually we know how hard people are working. And we just want to re-emphasize that point that we, you want to do the best you can. But actually, we know at the moment things can't be perfect. On a lighter note, we're going to start a did you know fact each week. So hopefully you're going to try and debunk some of the, the myths that are out there. So the first one is that goldfish can only remember things for up to seven seconds. And actually, that's simply not the case. Goldfish can remember things for much longer than that. So they can learn some of the most basic survival skills in order to get food and to stay away from danger. And they can retain that information for as long as three months. So the idea that goldfish can remember things for only seven seconds is actually complete nonsense. Next up is Mr Bates with his On This Day in History. Hello and welcome to our second edition of On This Day in History, the 20th of April. 20th of April is a really difficult day to get anything for that doesn't involve fires, earthquakes, massacres, racism and lots and lots of people running the Boston Marathon. But we've come up with three that we think you might find interesting. Uh, first of those, 1611, the first performance of Shakespeare's Macbeth play at the Globe Theatre on the banks of the River Thames. The second little bit controversial, Captain James Cook arrives in Australia, in New, New South Wales in Australia. Now obviously if you're a, an Aboriginal First Nations Australian, James Cook arriving in Australia is more kind of James Cook invading Australia, but it's certainly the beginning of a British presence in Australia and the beginning of that uh, continent being used as a giant penal colony for British prisoners, which will be something that's familiar to uh, many of our, our history students who are studying crime and punishment. The final one was my absolute favourite. 1979, US President Jimmy Carter attacked by a swamp rabbit. Jimmy Carter, back down in his home state of Georgia, out on a little flat bottom board, doing a bit of fishing and a rabbit comes swimming towards him desperately trying to get into the board and he has to fend it off with an oar. Now the satirist Dave Barry described this event as the most memorable thing that happened in um, President Carter's entire presidency and the folk singer Tom Paxton wrote a wonderful song which you can find on YouTube uh, which talks about Jimmy Carter not wanting a bunny wunny in his little boat in case the bunny wunny bites him in the throat. So, hope you've enjoyed that on this day in history for the 20th of April. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all staying safe. And I really hope to see a lot of you very, very, very soon. Take care. So in our last edition, we had the brilliant Prefect team and the brilliant Mr. Flewellen giving you their recommendations for what to watch over the Easter period. Today, we've got the PE film recommendations. So these are the top PE films on Netflix at the moment. And I'll just give you a minute to read. For me on here, the absolute winner is Coach Carter, but I'm sure you'll all have different opinions about which you think is best. What we want to also do is try and encourage you 
safely, obviously, and with your parents' permission to also try and think creatively about how to exercise. So there's some great indoor ideas currently circulating on the Twitter sphere about what we can actually do with this time. So here we've got an idea of the paper plate tennis. A fun and easy activity for all ages. You grab a balloon, create some paper plate rackets, a great way to stay active at home. Maybe you guys could think over the next couple of weeks of some more creative ways, obviously with your parents' permission and being safe. What we thought we'd also do this week is to try and find out some really, really key information. And the first bit of information we want to find out is which chocolate bar is the Haraway favourite one. Now, each week we're going to have some different options that we need to vote on. And this week, in the first round, we have five choices for you. So number one, the Mars bar. Number two, dairy milk. Number three, aero. Number four, whisper. And number five, the Kit Kat. I'll be sending out a Google form to all of you to try and for you guys to vote on which one you think is the favourite in Haraway and the winner of this week will go through to the next round. Thanks for tuning in to the third edition of the Haraway cast. Uh, we just want to finish with obviously the notion that to stay safe, you really, really should be staying at home at the moment. We know it's difficult. We absolutely understand that. But actually, for all people, that's the best thing that we can possibly do.